Conservation Commission. We set a trap and then we ended up trapping the cat. But now we want to know uh, what sh where can we turn him in or what should we do with them? Because we're the landowners of the land. Can we euthanize him? No. Mm -hmm. There's a problem out here. So if us landowners or, or community owners trap these cats, like, are we going to be able to euthanize them? That's really what we're trying to find out. You know what I'm saying? Or if we call animal right control. There? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay. Hey, how's it going? My name is Raj the Iguana Man, and I run a pest control company here in South Florida specializing in the removal of invasive species. Join me and all my friends on some of our most wildest adventures right here on the Iguana Man YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe with the bell notification on so you never ever miss a beat we work seven days a week and we're getting bigger and stronger every single day so make sure you join the iguana man gang we do catch and cooks we do hunts we go fishing and boy oh boy do we love to have fun and we would love for you to join our family Guys, I, I just got to my house and I noticed that there was a cat with like like a striped tail, like a raccoon. And then look, I just come over here and look, there's a squirrel right there. These cats are becoming a really big problem. They're killing a lot of native wildlife. Birds, squirrels, and they're feral cats. It's like people release them and they just go, look, they're, they're, there goes one right there. Look, you see him? He's all the way down there. Look at look at him. He's like, it's weird, guys. And look, look at this squirrel right here. Hey, Ma. There's a squirrel here. He just got attacked by a cat. Where? Right here. Hey guys. He's hurt. Aww. Give it to me. I have a little kid to the back of the house. You're alright, buddy? Look, he's right there. Oh. What do you love this? What do you love this? Come on, Papa. Oh, he's big deal. Okay, baby. This is it. I'm hurt. Put him in the grass for a second. Let him lay down. I'm like it. It's okay, leave him, let him, let me see. No, no, put him back Look, in. he got bit right there on the side of his head by the cat. The cat, uh, the cat was right here, hanging out. And then I saw the cat and then I, I see the squirrel. It's okay. It's okay. No, you get hurt, you get hurt. You can't use this food, that one. Go bring the little kid, I will feed him to hell. All right. Go in the back, go in the back quick, you'll feed him to hell. All right. Go bring the little kid, I'll put him in there and I'll feed him. Oh. Huh? No, they're dead. dead. They're biting my leg. Bring a little kid, all the way back, you see a little kid. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, about these cats, because they're getting out of control. They're getting out of control. We're going to have to trap them, or, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to move on to the second phase if I have to. But if I have to, I will. Look at this poor guy right here. He just got attacked. His arm is broken or hurt. He's hurt. Come here, buddy. He wants to climb. It's okay. I'm dirty messed No, up. leave him in there. He could hide. Hold on. I don't want him to bite me. No, you have to hold him. Move. Hold on. Hold on. He's trying. He's, he wants to survive with his cats. Put him by his neck. Just by his neck across. Across. Not like okay. that. Okay. Where's he open? Where you, what do you think? Uh -huh. It's okay, buddy. I'm going to put him in here. He's hurt. We we're gonna put some food in there. We're gonna hang this up so no more cats can try getting them. But I'm sick of these cats, guys. I'm sick of it. And I think somebody needs to do something about it. I think I, somebody is gonna do something about it. And that somebody's gonna be me. This little brother is so healthy for you. Wash on. This is where we're gonna feed him. Can you see this? That? That's bread. You can eat it. Yeah. It's called bread. It's so healthy. Ask anybody to know what that means. Mm. It's a bread. It's coconut bread. Don't give it. 
Yeah, give him this. Give him this, no. Wish for this to the eat you know, anything with nuts, give him that. I have peanuts in my car. No, Ross, give him that. Okay, buddy. Oh, we're gonna hang this up. Inside? Yeah, so no raccoons or no cats get them. It's a shame. We gave him water. We're going to let him rest. Guys, stay tuned for a status update. We're going to figure out kind of uh, what's wrong with them and also try to nurse him back to health. But I seen a cat right there. He was just sitting there. I just saw the tail and then... Like, comment, and subscribe. As the cat keeps coming back. Where'd he go? Oh, he's going in the backyard. What the? All right, this cat is becoming a big nuisance, and I am on private property. I'm at family members' house. Look at him. Look at him right there. Oh, there he goes. He was just spraying over there. That bad, bad cat. Okay, guys, we're back. You guys seen that cat? You guys seen that squirrel? We got a trap right here. We got some sardines. We're going to go ahead and set this real quick. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but this is a huge conflict for me and my family and the native wildlife in this area. So we're going to go ahead and set this trap. Break that seal with some sardines. Yeah, he killed the squirrel and then he came back. Like, I seen him there. I'm like, why is there a cat sitting? I see his tail. Then all of a sudden, I scare him and then there's this, a squirrel, like, basically dead or clinging on to life. It's not right, guys. It's just not right, all right? So we got a little trick for this, this feline right here. We got the sardines, we got the trap. We're gonna put a camera on this and see if we can get him in the act. Silly, silly cat. You better watch your back, buddy, because we have a lot of questions for you. Just keeps roaming around. Keeps roaming around. Bad, bad cat. We got the trap set. We got him. He's trying to sniff out the squirrel that he just killed. He's being territorial, I seen him like pee, like he sprayed. I'm not quite sure what he actually sprayed, but he definitely sprayed some type of liquid. We're gonna scare him over there. You better. Yep, there he goes. He's going back in my under, yep, in my backyard underneath the cart. There's an enormous and growing population of free roaming cats that exist in Florida, posing a great threat to the state's native species. Domesticated in Egypt about 4,000 years ago, these felines have become America's favorite pet. But a recent poll by the American Bird Conservatory, the ABC, shows that 35% of owned cats live exclusively outdoors. Cats are instinctive predators that will always be able to hunt effectively just as their wild ancestors. And feeding does not suppress the cat's instincts to hunt and kill. It is estimated that nationwide, cats kill over a billion small animals and hundreds of millions of birds each year. are vulnerable to contracting and spreading diseases among themselves and other wildlife and even people. The CDC reports that rabies cases in cats are more than twice the numbers of dogs or cattle. Additionally, cat scratch fever, hookworms, roundworms may be transmitted to other animals and people through scratches, bites, and fecal contamination by cats. The FWC reports that a single cat can kill up to 100 or more birds and mammals per year. To make matters worse, many of the animals prey on the cats are listed as threatened or endangered species. Mmm, well, well, well. If it isn't the squirrel killing cat. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Do you remember me? Hanging out in the shade, eh? 
You like them sardines, eh? Couple questions for you, buddy. Yeah, guys, so you guys seen that? We caught the cat in the trap. Now we don't know what to do with it, all right? So we're about to call FWC. We got them on the phone. And we're trying to figure this thing out because there's a lot of feral cats everywhere. If we were to trap them, let's say people were to trap them so they're not out killing birds and killing, you know, native wildlife, what do we do with them after? That's what we're trying to find out right now. Good afternoon, Fort Fish Wildlife. May I help you? Hey, good afternoon. Uh, we live in a neighborhood and we noticed that there's a lot of like wild feral cats. And uh, yesterday I saw a cat tail under my car and then I scared the cat and then there's a dead, like a, like an injured squirrel. So we set a trap and then we ended up trapping the cat. But now we want to know uh, what should, where can we turn them in or what should we do with them? Um, I would give them to animal control. Give, just give them to animal control? Yeah, call your animal control, and uh, because we don't deal with domestic animals. Oh, he's not. These aren't. Um, these, yeah, this cat isn't domestic. He's wild. He's like, he's like, like feral. He's like. He's a bobcat. No, no. He's like. He looks like a regular cat, but he's he's like he's not domestic. He like he's alpha, and he's wild. He, he's feral. He's a feral cat. It's still um, it's still considered a domestic animal. Um. We don't deal with those, like chickens, guinea hens, things like that. Um, yeah. That's animal control. What could Dog. can we? Because we're the landowners of the land. Can we euthanize him? No. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Um. No, hold on one second. Let me see. Let me look and see real quick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look on the internet and see what. Okay. Yeah, so we got her. She's gonna look it up. You know, I'm just I'm, we're trying to figure it out because there, there's a problem out here. So if us landowners or or community owners trap these cats, like, are we gonna be able to euthanize them? That's really what we're trying to find out. You know what I'm saying? Or if we call animal right control. There? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay. So shooting can be a humane method of destroying a feral cat when it's when it's carried out by experience skilled and responsible shooter. Um, you also want to check your local area, your neighborhood, um, okay. to make sure that, you know, what the ordinance is for a gun. Okay, so we need, we need to know the ordinance. We need to know the ordinance of using a firearm or an air rifle. And then also, you know, if we are, if we, if it is acceptable, then it would have to be like a humane shot, like just a humane euthanasia. A humane shot, yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it could be like with a bunch of BBs or anything like that. It would no. Be. Yeah, with a yeah, not with a okay. bunch of BBs, like with a maybe like a pellet rifle or an air rifle, right? Yeah, as long as it kills him. Yeah, as long as it kills him and he's not, you know, he's not suffering. Just like not suffering. yeah, just a humane blow and he's out. Boom. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you so so much. And I'm gonna call Animal Control too to see what the, what uh what they say. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye bye. All right, so that's an interesting uh, conversation we just had. So euthanization is possible, but we do have to check laws. So we are going to call the, the police as well. And we are going to call animal control as well. So just to, just to, so we have an understanding, guys. We need to understand what, what to do if these animals are trapped. I mean, there's, you know, in my neighborhood is getting bad. I, there's at least, in that, in that little corner that I live in, there's at least five feral cats right around there. We just put up a bird feeder too. We've seen birds, but you know, I mean, are we setting these birds up to get, you know, sniped by these cats, you know? And they're native birds too, cardinals and blue jays, like seasonal flying in. All right, let's call animal control guys. We'll be back, all right? Thank you for calling Critter Control. This is Debbie, how can I help you? Hey Debbie, how are you? Um, we live in a neighborhood and there's a lot of uh, feral cats. And uh, there was one hiding underneath my car and then it killed a squirrel. So we put a trap out and then we trapped the cat. Uh, we were wondering if, uh, what should we do with them now that we got them? Could you guys come get them? We don't do cats or dogs. We only do wildlife here. We're not animal control. Um, 
That's who I would suggest you call. Call animal control, like for the city? Yes. Okay, another thing you might do, if you did, will take them. A Google feral cats in your city. Many locations have a place that is just doing feral cats. Okay, so maybe call, look for a cat company that does cats. Right? Call first to see if they'll take them, and if not, Google feral cats in whatever city. So for mine, it would be Denver, Colorado, feral cats. And it will come with a special organization that will take them in. Okay, all right, let me do that then. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great weekend. All right. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. Hmm. Those silly, silly cats. Okay. Uh, guys, we're going to be back. We're going to see uh, if we can get animal control on the phone. And then we're going to see if we can get a uh, feral cat control on the phone too. Because, you know, let's see what they got to say. All right. Hey, is this animal control? Well, what kind of issues are you having? Well, we uh, we have these cats in our neighborhood, and there was one hanging out, and then it killed a squirrel, and then we put a trap, and then we trapped it. And we were wondering, what do we do with it now that we trapped the cat? What kind, what kind of animal? A cat. A feral cat. A, a feral cat? Yeah. Oh, well, you you can take it to a shelter to, uh, uh, what, what city are you? Uh, I'm, in, I'm in Broward. Okay. So you can take that cat to uh, Sterling Road and, and Griffin Road and 95, right, right in that area, there is a place that they take cats. Really? Uh, yeah, they, you, you can take, they take one or two, you know, and tell them what happened and, and they will take it from you. Okay, let me, yeah, let me get, let me get them on the phone then. Thanks a lot, dude. But they, but they're not going to come and get it. You have to take it. You just, just, you just need to go there and they'll take it from you. They'll take the cat for me. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Yeah, we, we, I can go I can go and take the cat for you, but we charge for the services, you know. If you don't want to do that, then we, we can do it for you. We charge 200 but I assume you will do it yourself. Okay, so if I don't want to take it, just call you and you'll do it for 200 Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, because he's kind of mean, so I might call you back. I don't know if I really want him in my car, too. And he was like... Uh, oh, be careful. Be careful. They can be very dangerous. You have to... Um, I can give you a different truck, but we can change up, and then you can keep one of mine, and I keep yours, and then you don't have to worry about anything. The best thing to do is cover the, the truck with a towel or something. So they don't yeah, keep, yeah, I have a towel on. Yeah, very, he's the cat is very strong when they get wild. Yeah, he's he's like an alpha. I think he's like big, and he's like he, he's like oh, yeah. The male? Oh my god! Yeah, what, what, oh, oh, those are very very strong, and very vicious. They don't like being caught in the cage. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, I think he was spraying something at me or around the area. I saw him spraying stuff, like out of his uh, rear oh, really? end. Yeah, it was it was pretty oh weird. Oh my god! He's marking his territory. Oh, he's marking his territory. <laughs> he's an alpha. Yeah, he's like he thinks he's a lion or something. I don't know what he's doing. But <laughs> okay, look, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna um call this humane society and see what they say, and then if anything, I'll give you a call back. All right, dude. Yeah, sure, doctor. Thank you very much. All right, dude. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, interesting. So, there is a service that can bring the cats, uh, pick them up from you, uh, you know, but if, if, you know, it's 200 bucks. But hey, you know, like, some people really don't want to deal with the cats. Honestly, uh, we have a truck so we can put them back there if that's the case, you know, and, and put a nice towel, put, you know, over them, let them just hang out. But, um, yeah, let's call the Humane Society and see what they say, all right? And then, after that, we'll have a, we'll have a conclusion. And then, you know, we'll, we'll tell you guys what I think. We'll, we'll summarize everything, you know, all right? Animal emissions. County. Due to limited resources, we are only accepting owned pets for surrender by appointment only. To make an appointment, please visit humanebrower.com and go They're to the to schedule one. Please be aware that when you schedule an appointment, it does not guarantee that your pet will be a candidate for adoption. There is a possibility that we may contact you or cancel your appointment if we deem that your pet is not a candidate. Thank you. I wonder if our pet's a candidate. Another <laughs> press one. To leave a voicemail, press two. Or simply stay on the line. 
Okay, am I not going to talk to anybody? Seriously? They're... Please leave a message after the... Okay, so it says that they're only take they're they're only taking pre like pets that were owned by owner to get surrendered. So that still is not helping us out right now. All right, so I don't think I don't know. Let's let's um let's keep looking on Google. This seems to be a, a pretty tedious task, to say the least. But um, like I said, we'll figure it out. Or here we'll be back. Let me see who else I can call. Hey, good afternoon, sir. We live in a neighborhood that has uh, feral cats, uh, and we see we seen one like by my truck, and then it killed a squirrel. So we put a trap, and then we trapped the cat. But now that we have the trap, the cat trapped, we don't know what to do. Okay, the only you can do is take it to Miami Day Animal Service. It's in Doral. Miami Day Animal Service. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna give him a call. Thanks, sir. Okay, bye. Miami Day Animal Service. Okay, we have to go all the way to Miami. Hey, how are you? Uh, we live in a neighborhood that has a bunch of feral cats. He killed a squirrel, so we put a trap out and we trapped the cat. Now we don't know what to do with them. Um, you can bring him to the shelter. We can bring him to the shelter? Yes. Is there, is there any charge to bring him or no? Okay, and then you guys will just decide what to you do. Trying to say, you trying to say he was aggressive? Uh, I mean, he, he, I mean, he's trapped, so he's kind of freaking out now, but he killed a squirrel. So he's like, he's hunting and stuff, you know? But, he, I mean, he seems kind of, a, I don't know, he seems kind of, he's, he, I think he's feral. Okay. All right, we'll bring him to you and you guys will, you know, uh, help him. 6.30. Close, okay, 6.30, all right. Okay, thank you. Interesting. Okay, so the 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 animal services, Miami Dade Humane Society. You can bring these cats there, even the one that's in Broward. The other one in Broward, they're just closed right now. But so that's that's an option right there. Now there's one more thing we're gonna do. We're gonna call the police, the non-emergency number, and ask them what we should do. And then we're gonna have our conclusion. So stay tuned. Emergency situation. Is your main on the line for the next available operator? If you're calling about copies of police reports, updates, police reports, information on two or any other city-specific service, please contact that city's police department directly. Big sub. Sheesh, that thing's huge. We continue to call, but no answer from the non-emergency line. So here's our conclusion, all right? Depending on where you live and if it's private property and you are a responsible and experienced shooter, you can humanely euthanize the cat on your property. If you don't want to do that, you can actually pay a pest control company to come pick up the cat for you. Of course, all the fees are going to be different depending on the company. If you want to bring the cat to the Humane Society yourself, you can definitely do that where he'll be spayed and neutered and hopefully he'll make a good pet and he won't kill any more of these native birds or other wildlife. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it answered a lot of questions. It's the Iguana Man signing out. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments down below.